Do you want to take your stream to the next level with this bad boy? It's completely controlled inside of OBS, meaning you can edit all the sources without needing to know how to code or anything. You just need to know how to use OBS. I'm going to walk you through installing it and troubleshooting steps if you have any issues at all. Did I mention? It is completely free too. Let's get into it. Put your rocking for the stone. Heyo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Uh, there are a few important things I should mention. This product and the other stream up products only support OBS 28 and above. If you haven't upgraded yet, I'll leave a video up here and in the description on how you can upgrade without any issues. Trust me, it's easy. You will also need to have either Sammy or StreamerBot as these are the only tools we are supporting right now. It goes without saying, these should be all up to date too. Jump into our StreamUp website to download the product, hit download, then it will take you over to our coffee page. We would love it if you considered putting in a dollar or so as it will go a long way in supporting us making these incredible products for you. If you cannot afford a dollar, you can just put in a big fat zero in the box, then proceed to download the product for free. The first thing we need to do is install everything in folder one. So we're gonna open folder one and we've got the San Francisco font that Apple uses. So we're gonna jump to this link and we're gonna press download, which is near the bottom of this one. Press download and get that installed. Then we're going to have to open the second uh, web browser document, which is going to take you to the StreamUp plug installer that Silverlink made. We're going to hit download and it's going to take you to our coffee page. Consider dropping in a single dollar to help support us as well. It goes a long way or if you can't afford it, just press zero. Add to cart and get that all downloaded and installed. If you need help installing it, there is a video just here that will run through everything. I will be doing an updated version soon as well. Once that's all installed and good to go, now we can open OBS and have a little bit of fun. So inside of OBS, if we go to the top left hand corner of the screen, go up to tools and then go down to stream up, we can then navigate to the folder that we need, which is the iOS notification. And then inside of the second folder, there is the stream up widgets, iOS notification .stream up file. Just double click that to install it. That's gonna create one scene if you've already got the uh, DSK Blur installed or three scenes if you haven't. So let's get on here to the iOS notification scene. If I right click it and press filters, I can press one line on filter and it'll come on screen like so, as you can see. But then you're thinking that's cool, but I need to add it to other scenes, right? So all I need to do, I'm gonna leave this filter menu open. I'm gonna go to whatever scene I want to add it to. We're going to press the plus sign in the sources menu and go to scene so you can add a scene as a source we're going to choose ios notification and then now when i turn it on you'll see this is now on screen which is pretty cool you can also add it as a source mirror or also a source clone as well depending on if you're using those plugins so definitely take a look at that but the best way by far for this one is using the dsk blur so the way that we do that is go to the DSK Blur Intermix scene. You should automatically see that it's added the iOS notification scene there. So that means it's all set up. If not, just press the plus sign, go to scene and add it onto there. Then go to your DSK Blur scene and we're gonna add that to your downstream key, which is a dock inside of OBS. Uh, if, you've, if you've run the StreamUp plug installer, you should have this already installed. If you can't see it, go up to Docs and then go down to Downstream Kia and select it. Once you're on the DSK Blur scene, this won't actually be here by default, so I'm gonna delete it so it would look blank like so. When you're on the DSK Blur scene, just press the plus sign and it'll add it just there. So now, if I go to any other scene and then click the Downstream Kia for that scene, it'll highlight it. So you can see it's constantly highlighted now. When I press line one on, as you can see, I've only got one image on here, but if I turn it on, you'll see it'll actually appear just here and you'll be able to see it's semi-transparent. I'm not using the best lighting for this, but you can see right there. Setting this up in Sammy is nice and easy. We're just gonna go to bridge on the left-hand side and go to install an extension. 
going to navigate to that folder that we were in, the iOS notification one. But this time we're going to go into folder 3, which is bot install. And we're going to choose Sammy. And we're going to open the .sef file. Put that in there. It's going to create a new deck. We're going to double click into it. It might say there's some missing images. Don't worry about it. All we're going to do is on main button, we're going to right click it and we're going to press edit init variables. So these are some of the settings that we can set. So the style. In here, we can either replace dark with light, so L-I-G-H-T, or we can do dark. Personally, I prefer dark mode. We can also add viewers that we want to ignore. So as you can see, I've put stream elements, stream labs, nightbot in here, owned. And then anytime you want to add another one, just to add a comma to the end, press enter, open speech marks, and I'll put in something like Andy Lippy, for instance, close speech marks, and that's it. For the last one, you don't need to do a comma. And you can always make sure you've done it right. You can press validate JSON syntax and it'll say if it's valid, press OK and that will be all fine. Press save, save again, and then now you're ready to go. If I type in uh, hello there, this is my first message. Press enter, you'll see it'll appear on screen with what I said with my profile picture, name and everything like that. So it's a really cool way for your viewers to interact with your stream. And then now if I type in another message, it won't work. It's only for the first message every stream. Installing this into Streamerbot is nice and easy as well. So we're just going to navigate to our file explorer and go to the bot install folder. Then choose Streamerbot and there's a .sb file in there. In Streamerbot, go to import at the top and we've got this import string section. We're just going to drag and drop that sb file into there. If you if that's not working and you've got a little error message that's like that or something like that, you can just double click the sb file, go to notepad, use control A to select all, control C to copy, and we can paste it directly into the import string. And it should add two actions and also a queue. Press import and that's it, it's ready to go. All we need to do inside of Streamerbot is go to platforms, go to Twitch and go to events, then general. And under first words, we're going to select iOS notification animate. I'm going to press reset to make sure that it's reset that my, I've already spoken. So it'll know that I've already spoken in chat. So I press reset and now it will think that I'm new into the chat and I'm going to go back to actions. On the animate section, you can choose the style. So if you choose the drop down here, you can set it to dark, light or none. If you wanted to change the colors of everything yourself, I prefer just having it on dark mode. So if you double click on there, you can type in light or none if you wanted to. So press OK. And now I want to go into OBS and do a, a big test message. Hello there, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll see it'll appear on screen as a message. It's got my uh, Twitch picture. It's also got my name uh, and it's got a nice little message on there, which is pretty cool. If you are running into any issues at all, don't worry. We have a Discord server. You can find the link in the file you downloaded or on the StreamUp website. Just join and search for the product in the different channels. Each product has its own forum. This means you can search through the posts to see if someone else has had your issue and if not, create a new post. Please be as accurate as possible and provide screenshots so we can actually help. If you like this product, then tell YouTube and press that like button. Also subscribe as there are tons more products on the way. Speaking of, check out this playlist full of stream up products. See you over there. Put your rug over the stone.